Welcome back to the News Hub here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. It's time for Private Properties, the segment we know you love. And to help us today, we have Lauren Sugar, the lovely Lauren Sugar, joining us now from the Hardship location of Beverly Hills, California. And there she is. Thank you very much, Lauren. Hi, Simon. Hi. Let's uh, let's go through these uh, fantastic properties that no one can afford. Oh, no, no one, just <coughs> not us. Um, so let's start. Santa Monica, you have an 11,000 square foot home. That's uh, That's pretty big. Yes, so it's listed for $22 million, and um, it's known locally as the House of Rock. Um, there are several connotations to that name. Uh, there are a lot of charity fundraisers with rock stars at the home um, because it has a huge professional recording studio on the top floor. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's kind of been, you know, the neighbors. And it's a beautiful bathroom I'm looking at. And it, a beautiful, it had a beautiful yes. kitchen. I, it, it, is, it is stunning. Paneled walls, yes. stained yeah, glass windows. Yeah, so it's actually... Um, this uh, famous designer, Elaine Culotti, renovated the whole home, so it has sort of, you know, oak floors and rounded archways, um, but it also has all these modern touches. There's a lucite shimmel piano in the home and, um, you know, sort of silk uh, covered walls and all kinds of details like no, that. No, it, it, is, it is truly, it's truly lovely. I mean, it, and, um, you know, maybe, maybe that's a bargain for 22 million. Okay, so Montana Ranch uh, for sale for a hundred and thirty two and a half million dollars. Yeah. Lauren, we have some expensive um, things on the show <laughs> frequently, but this this is a lot of money. Who has a hundred and thirty two and a half million dollars to, to blow Very on a house? Few people. Right, very few people. Well, um, so billion, a billionaire bought the home. Um, we don't know how much, but we're guessing it's somewhere around that 132.5 million. Um, Stan Krunke, who um, is a billionaire, uh, he made millions in his own right as a property developer, but he's also married to Ann Walton Krunke, who is a, um, a Walmart heiress. So that answers your question. And uh, they have bought this ranch. It is just it's a massive, massive estate, um, about 124,000 acres um, up there in Montana. And it has uh, 25 guest houses on the property. Um, so you could definitely host a, you know, a huge family Thanksgiving there, have everyone in their own house. Um, it's a massive you could estate. Actually, you could actually have a, a, an entire country on 124,000 <laughs> acres. That, that's pretty big. True. So there's a, there's a New York townhouse, which is um, you know, more my neighborhood. Not exactly my neighborhood, well, but it's somebody's 20, neighborhood. Yeah. Twenty-seven million. So this is for twenty-seven million. Um, it's a nine thousand square foot penthouse, so it's huge, and it was actually divided up into four units. Um, but it's now on the market. It's whole thing. The whole thing is on the market, and it was lived in by Paul Rudolph, who's a you know famous mid-century architect. So it has some great kind of provenance and heritage as well. And, 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 uh, and, know, and an interesting of, color scheme of entirely white. It seems. Well, it's, you know, it's very modern. I think a lot, you know, a lot of architects live in a way that other people might not find so aesthetic, but it's kind of avant-garde, and I think it's it's going for that. Okay. Well, it certainly it certainly has that. Okay. Um, Gucci Heiress puts the California estate up for sale. Now, this one is really slumming it on the price front, right? Um, well, that well, explains yeah, it. It's, it's in the desert. Acres. I know. Well, 20 acres is tiny compared to the other ones. Nine um, million. Nine million. It's it's actually kind of a bargain. Um, it's in the desert, uh, sort of in the Palm Desert, near you know near Palm Springs um, in California, and um, it's kind of like a little oasis in the desert. Um, you know, there's a pool and a guest house, and um, you know several little bedrooms there. It's a, sort of on top of a mountain, so you overlook the desert and you have this kind of lush landscaped area to yourself. So it's ab absolutely. Worth Lovely, L lush landscape. And that's, uh, that's Aldo Aldo Gucci, um, who died several decades ago. That his daughter Patricia mm. bought this in the early '90s for less than a million dollars, and then added to it over the years. And um, well, she's now in Europe, so wants well, to get rid of it. Well, I bet she does. And um, they, there you go. We, we leave with the cheapest. Thank you very much, <laughs> Lauren Shuka uh, of the Wall Street Journal. More on that in tomorrow's Wall Street Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and that's it. That's the news hub for now.